coverage identify that the cdbd transmission can reach user uh, in a given region uh, reliability reliability in the uh, uh, facility and the call identify the user can uh, access the used cdbd solution during the congestion or the network disruption um, transmission speed subscribes uh, that uh, describes the end uh, end to end data speed including call setup time and the transmission speed privacy and security as we know that means this particular part is also uh, important and um, uh, describe the uh, 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 describe the level of the inherent privacy security of the services and uh, capability uh, to add a security measure cost is the cost of the typical cdbd services interfaces uh, ear interface um I the intermediate system interface and e the uh, external interface so cdpd network gives us the information about the uh, mes common ear interface with the uh, uh, mdbs and uh, all the mdbs are connected with the um, this particular mes um mdis is the means base station this particular is the base station and uh, uh, intermediate station you can say mes is the mobile end station mes is the mobile end station mdbs is the mobile data base station mobile data base station and mis is the intermediate servers server for the uh, cdp and its intermediate servers are also connected and then uh, uh, fixed end the that is the i is the inter uh, interface internet osi network so this, this is the structure or the architecture of the interface in cdpd um, only thing you have to keep in mind that the mdbs and the mes that is a, a mobile end station and the mobile data uh, base station this particular are uh, at the different uh, locations we can say mdbs is the stationary and mes is the um, we can say mobile and uh, with the help of that they are going to communicate and uh, in that particular area they are going to give the um, service to the subscriber mobile end system what is mobile end system mobile computing device which has a cdpd uh, model built in or attached cdpd model is built in or attached we can say uh, it, it is um, the technology also uh, that particular technology is uh, undergone with the, whatever the protocols of the cdpd are there uh, it uh, transmits the data over air link or the mdbs uh, or link to mdbs mdbs is the base station or it is the um, standstill station we can say it should provide the transparent interface to the user applications it will provide the transparent inter, uh, interface to the user applications and uh, um cdpd modem is one of the example of this particular mobile station we can say um mobile database station um as usual means base station in case of the gps uh, or gsm that is uh, uh, mobile system for mobile communication uh, we can say in that particular case how the base station works like that only the mobile database station is there it is located at the sale site it is located at the sale site sale site is nothing but the geographical area which can cover all the subscriber in that particular area is nothing but the sales site. Uh, it is responsible for the RF management. That is the radio frequency management, we can say. Um, means which uh, of the uh, things we are going to um, uh, allocate the frequencies uh, that that particular point they are going to be responsible for that. It provides hop to hop control over the air interface. It provides the hop to hop control um, over the air, 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 air interface. Um, like means uh, uh, the one uh, subscriber is connected from one particular uh, uh, mobile end station to the another uh, MDBS. In that particular case, the hop the hop control, uh, okay, it is uh, that particular control is with the MDBS. So number of MDBS are there, we are which which occupying the different geographical areas. It controls the hop and the RF segment between the uh, MSES, that is MES, that is the mobile end station, and the CDPD network.
okay and cellular uh, geographical area controlled by the mdbs only cellular geographical area is controlled by the mdbs only so these are the component of the uh, we can say the uh, cdpd architecture mobile data intermediate um, system uh, MD, mdis is the root data packet to the cdpd network and then mes uh, uh, appropriate it. it validates the mes uh, using the encryption keys for the secure transmission of the data uh, it is responsible for the out, out ip routing internet protocol routing uh, and mdis is uh, may serve the single or the multiple uh, cgsa cell okay so uh, these are providing the services uh, uh, with the help of the whatever the uh, given means it provides the uh, security security that is for uh, purpose it provides the route to the packet and responsible for the ip routing these things are um, uh, uh, these things are uh, there in this particular part and it is it is uh, mdis may be a server single, a single server or the multiple uh, cgsa uh, sense means uh, mdis is the means uh, intermediate system mobile data intermediate system may be having the uh, one particular cell or the it is having the uh, many of the cells are connected with it um, intermediate system uh, is the ip router it routes the data through the ip and the um, local network protocol we can say and uh, uh, network it is it is the is uh, is the components are backbone of the cdpd mesh so it, it is the routers uh, this particular are the routers fixed end uh, system uh, fes is the fixed end system fes is a signal a final destination of the message sent uh, from mes FES receives the data and process it appropriately. FES scan one of the many stationary computing devices, uh, such as the host computer and the Unix work, workstation. Okay, so uh, these are the different terminologies or the whatever the equipments used in the architecture of the um, architecture of the uh, CDPD, and what is the use of this particular um, uh, things. To layer protocol uh, are used in the cdpd mobile data link protocol and uh, it, it is a mobile data link uh, protocol it provides the logical link control uh, service between the mobile end system to the mobile data intermediate system the purpose of mdlp is to transmit information between network layer entities across cdpd layer interface MDLP is the mobile data link protocol. The purpose of MDLP is to transmit the information between the network layer um, entities across the CDPD layer interface. Identifies the destination mobile virtual address. Destination mobile virtual address. The MDLP also provides the sequence control to maintain the sequential order of frames across the data link the connection as well as error detection and flow control so uh, logical it is the logical control only um, it gives the information between the network layer entities to the cdpd air interface identifies the destination mobile in uh, uh, as a virtual address the mdlp provides the sequence control to maintain the sequential order of the formal uh, 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 frames across the data link connection as well as the error detection and the flow control. So these are the uh, things uh, to the data link layer of this particular CDPD we can say that is the mobile data link protocol. This is the one another uh, thing we are going to discuss about that is the common channel signaling. Common channel signaling is a digital communication technique that provides the simultaneous transmission of the user data signaling and other uh, related traffic uh, throughout the network. So it is accomplished by uh, using the out of band signaling channels, which logically separate the network data from user uh, information, voice and data on the same channel.
so it, it is a different means common channel signaling is also also different type of we can say the network is there which is used for the internet purpose uh, for the second generation wireless mobile system ccs that is common channel signaling uh, is used to pass user data and uh, control supervisory signal between the subscriber and the base station um, between the base station and the msc and between the mscs even though the concept ccs implies the dedicated parallel channel it is amply, uh, implemented in a tdm time division multi uh, multiplex um, format for the serial data communication so ccs is one other one another we can say the technology and that particular we are going to discuss what it deals with it deals with in second generation and it passes the user data and the control supervision signal between the subscribers and the base station between the base stations um, between the base station and the mscs and between the mscs so this is the, this is the use of the ccs that is common channel signaling uh, this is accomplished by using the out of band signaling channel which logically separates the network data from the user information that is the voice data on the same channel so uh, it divides that the which is the voice channel and which is the data channel so that is the one thing we have to keep in mind um, common channel signaling digital communication uh, technique provides the simultaneous transmission of the user data signaling data user data signaling data and other related traffic throughout the network so these are the things we have to keep in mind related to the common channel signaling when we are going to discuss about the common channel signaling. Kai karte te? Uh, it provides simultaneous transmission of the user data, signal data, and the related traffic throughout um, other related traffic throughout the network. Second thing, what it uh, deals with, it, will, it deals with the separation of the uh, data and the voice. Uh, third thing is related to uh, uh, it will it will communicate. We can say the uh, between the signals between the base station and the MSCs. MSCs uh, in between MSCs and uh, this particular thing they are going to do imply dedicated parallel channel it is implemented tdm format that is time division um, um, uh, multiplexing format for serial data communication so these are the things uh, what uh, common channel signal is uh, signaling is signaling is doing and then you have to uh, proceed for whatever the architecture and all these things are there of the ccs so It is always known as the SS7, that is uh, uh, Common Channel Signaling System number 7. Okay, SMS is the service management system, STPs are the signal transfer points, and SEPs are the switching endpoints. Uh, common Channel Signaling architecture is showing STPs, SEPs, SMS. Uh, embedded within the central uh, switching office and based on the uh, SS7. common channel signaling, sir. What is the use of the common channel signaling, end-to-end -end signaling? Any te ahe te sa use kaso hote the ekda laksha te. So packet switching is there, circuit switching is there, and common channel signaling there in between ISDN to ISDN information. It is network to user information, network to user information, and end to end signaling is there.
Okay, so Algen is the integrated service uh, digital network and end-to-end -end encryption and all these things are with the help of the uh, three different uh, 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 channels. So we can say that is the packet switching, circuit switching and the common channel switching. Algen signaling, access signaling and the network signaling. IDN channel that is the information bearing channel, B channel I used for the voice data video. And data uh, channel D is for uh, out of band signaling channels and used for signaling and the control information. So, two uh, informations are um, uh, separated. IDN information is the basic rate interface, uh, BRI basic rate interface, 2B plus D, and the primary rate interface is the PRI, that is 23B plus D. Uh, B channel supports 64 kbps data for PRI and BRI. That is basic rate interface and the primary rate interface. D channel supports the 64 kbps data or for PRI and the 16 kbps for BRI. Types of the services in ISDN. Mode of service, circuit mode uh, services is the, are there and the type of service. Uh, in that the restricted speech and the unrestricted uh, speech we can say. Uh, speech of the transmission type of channel. So circuit mode has unrestricted of the 15 kbps. Just a minute. Hello. No, she knows. Ah, ah. बरोबर आता हाँ हाँ तेज तेज बरोबर मंजे क्यों आ कहीं जा कंडीशन साहित का बेटा सीए टी चावल जो है डबल डी चाह तो एक क्रिस्पस आराधा पांव तथा से एक अंदर प्रेजेंटेशन आते हैं नीते चमोदे आमी समझाऊं समझो नीते चमोदोल अम्चीजी टेस्ट नहीं थे आता एंड्रॉइड वर्ती करना रहे थे मंजे तुम्हारा लिंक दी लिखी तुम जो � मग तुम्हारा तुम सब मुझे टाइम सांगा माला तेवरे सामी हूँ जाती
हो 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 चाले चाले हो चाले 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 Packet radio services, circuit mode services, and circuit mode services for uh, this particular channel are there. आता है what is signaling आणि हे जा आहे इतर समझे लाय but uh, for the signaling we are going to uh, take one more lecture for that what is signaling and all these things that is uh, what is signaling, signaling the uh, refer the exchange of the information between the network element signaling between the network elements follows the specific protocols. Okay, and protocol refers to the set of rules communicating between the elements. architecture mode the architecture mode is ISDN interface, co-ISDN interface in between that the common channel signaling there. And common channel signaling is obeys the protocol of the ISDN, we can say for the transmission of the signaling from one particular network to the another network. What is the SS7 signaling? Signaling system 7 was devised uh, by the ITUT, uh, International Telecommunication Union, uh, T, and uh, formerly known as the CCIT. Right? So it's a uh, name only which is the And it's uh, related to the US. Initially, the signaling in trunk used to happen on the same channel in which the voice call used to occur. Hence, call setup digits. ETC would use the same line as actual voice circuit. In SS7, the separate channel is allocated just for signaling, and this is known as the out of band signaling. It is known as the out of band signal. Uh, network services part N uh, NSP. Of SS7, they are shown here the uh, how the signaling is taking place of the network service part, and that particular from the application layer to the uh, application layer to the whatever the physical layer is there. Okay, so uh, OMAP is the operation maintenance and the admission part, administration part. Um, AAS is the application service element. TCAP is the transaction capability application part. SCCP is the signaling connection control part. MTP is the message transfer part. And NSP is the network service part. These are connected with the NSP. So as we know that the seven layers, application, presentation, session, transfer, network data link and the physical these are the seven layers here given and uh, uh, with the help of that what are the different things happen in ss7 protocol that they are going to means ss7 is the complete package we can say so complete package of the seven layers and it provides the uh, services with the help of the different uh, we can say the uh, requirements of the ss7 uh, protocol module that is omap is the operation maintenance and the administration part ASE is the application service element, TCAP is the transaction capability application part, SCCP is the signaling connection control part, MTP is the message transfer, and uh, at the last that is the network service part. So if you, if you uh, 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 segregate or we can say the divide this particular thing in different way, uh, we can get to that the application service element is related to the application, Operational maintenance and administration is related to the operations and the uh, uh, maintenance and the uh, administration transaction capability application part. So it, it is also the application signaling connection control, uh, message transfer, uh, signaling connection points. Signaling has means uh, signaling has a two parts that is one is the message and another is the um, uh, control part or the control uh, signal uh, signals. So control signals and the message signals. These are nothing but the SCCP and the MTP. Um, uh, transaction capabilities of the application part and the operation maintenance administration uh, part uh, is related to the, we can say the uh, transactions and the operations and um, application service element. So these are the things 
of the SS7 protocol, we, we can keep in mind, uh, we, we can uh, keep in our uh, mind in that particular way, that is operation maintenance service station, it's related to the um, um, uh, operation maintenance service station, it's related to the OMAP, it requires all the time. Application service element and the uh, capabilities of that transaction, that is another. Another one is the control, another one is the message. So these are the things uh, we have to club together and then form the network service part for SS7. Okay. Uh, so what we are going to do today, uh, uh, tomorrow, tomorrow I think uh, uh, at the paper of Grassel, paper of the Agalvaji, and it is an answer like Sadul Karajahe. Um, okay. Mm, let's see. 